Today, we are going to build the octocubahedron. This is a skeletal octahedron with a cutout. And in that cutout, you can choose, if you wish, to put a Sonobi cube. If you want to do that, you'll, of course, need a Sonobi cube. And you can figure out how to make one of those using my earlier video, Making a Sonobi Cube. This video, we will build the skeletal octahedron with the cutout. To do that, you're going to need 12 squares of paper. Now for this project, I've chosen to use inchworm, tiger fur, concord grape, lapis lazuli, shimmering salmon, and lemon glacier. Now you'll also need six other squares of paper. Now these six will not be visible in, all, in our final construction. So this is a good chance for you to maybe use up some paper colors you don't typically use. So I'm gonna take advantage of this. I have some other colors that have been stacking up here. I'll use six of those. I've got some smoky topaz, burnt umber, this Boston baked bean, Tibetan yak, chocolate Labrador, and of course brown. So these will not appear in our final project, but we need them. So this is a module construction, so you need to build six modules, and each module will have one of your colored pieces of paper and one of your hidden pieces of paper. Now the actual construct folding is pretty easy. The construction is where it gets kind of tricky. And so you'll probably, you may want on hand, and probably you may want some paper clips on hand to help you do that. I know I do. So let us start with our inchworm here. And we're gonna fold that exactly in half, diagonally. There we go. Right out to the side again. Again, the quality of your final project is directly related to the quality of your initial folds. So we'll turn it and we'll fold it in half diagonally the other direction. Crease it down the middle and out to the edges. Wonderful. Now if you're using paper that is only colored on one side, make sure the colored side is down toward the table. Now, you will take this and fold it in half, top to bottom, open it up, turn it, and fold it in half, top to bottom, yet again. Open it up. Now, fold it in half diagonally. Now take a corner, this one or that one, and fold it over to the other corner. Then you have these pockets here. Open that pocket up and mash it flat. There we go. Flip it over. Take this piece here, stick it up like a big shark fin, and then open up that pocket and mash it flat. This is the first part of our module unit. Now, take one of your hidden pieces of paper, and you'll begin by folding this in half diagonally. There we are, very nice. Open it up, fold in half diagonally again. There we go. Put up, now turn it over. This won't be seen, so it doesn't matter if you have one-sided paper, what side's showing. Fold it in half, top to bottom. Open it, spin it, fold it in half, top to bottom. Now, stand it up like a tent. Gonna put your fingers underneath the tent, and with your thumb, you'll gently press on the center while you gently pull with your fingers and you're trying to collapse this into a triangle. So you went from here, press, pull, collapse. Very good. So now we have this and we have this. Here's the exciting part. You're going to take, in this case, the burnt umber and I'm gonna stick it inside the inchworm so that everything fits into it 
There you go. So those two tabs are going to go into those areas there. There you go. Just like so. Now, to hold that in there, we're going to open this up. And then each of these green tabs that's sticking down past the burnt umber there, we're going to fold that up. So we'll do that to each of these in turn. And there we go. Now you can go ahead and collapse that again. Good. This is what it should look like. Now this has four fins on it. And take a moment and make sure each of those fins is distinct. That looks like four fins. There we go. Excellent. Now you will need six of these in total. And I already have those prepared here, so let me bring them out. There we are. And here we are. So, now it's time for the construction. So pick any two you want. I'm going to start here with the inchworm and the Concord grape. Now, on either side of the burnt umber tab there, I have these little pockets. So each of the burnt umbers is going to fit inside. While this one goes under that, this one will stick in under that one on the other side. You see what's gonna happen here? When I press those together, they will be completely hidden and we will just have the inchworm and the Concord grape. Look at that. Go. Now's the time to use a paper clip and just help you to hold that together so you don't have to fret about it. Okay, so now let's pick the Shimmering Salmon. So I'm going to take, again, same brown tabs. This one will go in underneath the Concord Grape. This one fits underneath the Shimmering Salmon. And I'll press that together. Look at that. The Burnt Umber completely disappears. Things are shaping up very nicely. Now, let's take our Tiger Fur. Let's put that here and here. Carefully, there we are, there we are. Gently press that together and hold it temporarily with a paper clip. Now, let's see, here we go. Okay, now let's take there we go. So now I can take the Concord grape and the tiger fur and stick those together just like that. There we go. Splendid. All right. Now this inchworm going to go into the Shimmering Salmon and vice versa. Splendid, splendid, splendid. Now I will take the Lapis Lazuli and one tab is going to connect here with the Concord Grape. Another tab is going to connect with the tiger fur. There we go. Now actually, when you start to get it almost done, the paper clips are going to start to get in the way, so I'm going to remove those in just the jiffy. So we'll take the lapis lazuli and insert it into the inchworm and yeah these are gonna have to come off now just be patient with yourself okay 
And let's see here. Let's go there. This goes there. Gently now. Gently. Look at that. Wonderful. Wonderful. Now, you can see what's going to happen here. This lemon glacier is just going to go whoop on all of those, and we will be done. Go. There we go. Now, this octahedron is beautiful in its own right, but if you do have a Sonobi cube, you want to stick in the middle there. You want to have that ready now and just press it gently in there before you make this last connection. So, let me put that in here. And gently now, gently get all of these together so you can't see any of the burnt umber. There we go. Again, it just takes some patience and a little Fiddling. Oh, 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 oh. This is not easy. This by far is the most difficult part. Press down there, that'll sort of help you get it all together. But once you do, it will stay together really quite well. Come on, come on, come on. Come back to that one. Hopefully yours is going a little more there we go, there we go, oh dear, oh dear, there we go, come on now, come on, there we go, almost there, for now I'm just going to put that down on the bottom side, <laughs> yeah, so just fiddle with those and stick them all together and you'll be, uh, you'll be happy, uh, you're up, so here is the skeleton octahedron with cutout, and in that cutout, if you wish, you can put a Sonobi cube. All right, I am this close to wadding this up into a ball of paper and throwing it away. So I will leave, leave it alone for now, come back and just finish squeezing those together later. So there you go. I hope you find that helpful. Very good. Thanks so much.